Hi, I'm Todd King with the Accident Recovery Team, addressing some frequently asked questions that we get by phone or through our website. Feel free to send in your question. Maybe we will address it for you. But one of the frequently asked questions we get, if somebody has been hurt at work um, and they know they have a case, their question might be, but what is my case worth? As if pursuing it is contingent upon that value. The answer is complicated and I can't, the, sh the short answer is easy. I don't know the value of your case necessarily. The statute breaks down the value of these cases and how to calculate damages different ways. The first category of damages involves the physical damage to your body. The statute breaks down what are called scheduled injuries. Those are isolated parts of your body. My hand, my arm, my foot, my knee, my leg, those isolated limbs and, and specific body parts you would be compensated based upon the damage to the body part. So the real value of that case in particular would be the body part in question, the percentage of disability or functional impairment assigned to that body part for the injury by a physician, and what your wages were at the time that you were injured. Actually more accurately, averaged over the 26 weeks before you were injured. We could then calculate the value of your case. So when someone comes to see me, obviously they've just been injured, no doctor has given them an impairment rating, we can figure out the wages. So we know two of the three variables in calculating that injury to your body part. The impairment rating is the one that we don't know yet and is the one that will be disputed and become the source of, of, of litigation or negotiated settlement. The insurance company certainly will have you rated by a doctor of their choosing. Um, I would send you to a doctor, a second opinion, uh, a doctor of our choosing for you. The statute requires that the rating be given under the, the AMA guides to the evaluation of permanent impairment. That book provides two methods for calculating impairment ratings. One is diagnostic and one is clinical. One produces a lower rating, one produces a higher rating, but both are perfectly acceptable and legal, and the judge gives equal weight to both methods. That is how we, they generate a low rating on one side and a high on the other, and the negotiating begins or the matter has to be determined by a judge. The second category of damages involves the injury being sufficient or in a category uh, that would cause a loss of employment. So the first threshold to that is that we're not dealing with a limb. We're dealing with what's called a body injury, which is the head, the neck, the trunk, or a combination of limbs, both my arms, both my legs. That category is a body rating. It is calculated in the same method as you would an arm or a foot, for example, except that a body rating is mathematically higher. Um, but you have to have at least a seven and a half, over a seven and a half percent impairment to the body and a set of restrictions that cause a loss of employment. Meaning, I don't have a knee injury, I don't have a hand injury, I have a head, neck, trunk, or combination of limbs injury, and because of that, I've lost my job. That category of damages is called a work disability. A work disability is awarded to you based upon a wage loss. Before I got hurt, I was making this much money. Now I'm not making any money or I'm making less money. Uh, or they can impute to you what they think you could make. This, the judge has that option. Uh, or, and a task loss. It's an average of a wage and task loss. The task loss is determined by the doctors. A vocational expert will create a list of the tasks you perform in order to make money at your job. The doctor then will peruse that list and determine what of those tasks you can still do and those that you cannot, and that produces a task list. So the first category is physical damage. The second category is economic damage, loss of job, call a work disability. The third category is an injury that is so bad that not only can you not do your job, you can't do any job. You're unemployable. That third category is a $155,000 statutory payout. There's no math to be done, but it's a hard burden to meet. And so you'd have to have uh, typically a voc expert and the doctor kind of discussing and agreeing that you're unemployable. That will most certainly be challenged by the insurance company's attorneys and their, excuse me, and their experts. Um, but there you go. That's a basic summary of the different kinds of damages that, that you can, different categories of damages that you can have in a work comp case. So what is your case worth? Give us a call. Consultations are free. I'm Todd King with the Accident Recovery Team. That is your frequently asked question of the day. Give us a call at 267-TEAM. Goodbye.